start that business start that youtube channel leave that toxic relationship what other people think about me is none of my business when people say it's better the devil you know they would rather stay in a situation or remain as their current version of themselves because it's what they know it's what they're comfortable with changing and doing something that's different is scary because it's like a gamble you don't know what you're going to get what if i fail stepping away reduces the likelihood of me making decisions from a place of desperation from a place of lack when you tell yourself it's too late to reinvent yourself you stay stuck but when you tell yourself it is never too late whether in your 30s 40s 50s or 60s then you'll be able to transform yourself into the woman that you can't stop dreaming about when people here reinvent yourself they think about making drastic changes to change their lives but i'm a woman of a particular age i'm in my 30s and i reinvent myself every two to three years not by making drastic changes but by making the same tiny changes that have a massive impact so i want to share with you 10 micro tips to get unstuck and reinvent yourself the first thing you want to do when reinventing yourself is a temperature check because you might think you know yourself but that's from a subjective point of view and also the person that you were five ten years ago isn't who you are necessarily today so doing a temperature check allows you to identify your current strengths challenges and things that you want to improve because just because you want to reinvent yourself it doesn't mean you want to change everything about yourself there's going to be things that you absolutely love about yourself like i'm a very self-motivated disciplined and organized person and also self-care non-negotiable for me so i'm not trying to change any of that however along the way you might have developed new strengths you might have come across new challenges and there might be other things that you want to improve on that maybe you didn't think about two or three years ago so i only focus on three temperature checks because i don't want to overcomplicate this process so i do personality types which looks at whether you're a visionary processor executor or synergist i also do the feminine versus masculine energy test to see whether i'm leading with feminine or masculine energy and then i also do the self-esteem slash self-confidence test because i find that this fluctuates depending on my lifestyle what i'm going through and also as i'm getting older this then allows me to focus in areas i might be falling short in so i can improve them the next thing that i do to reinvent myself is step away have you ever noticed that when you're frantically looking for something you can't find it but when you least expect it they will be right in front of you and i find that sometimes when i'm fixated on wanting to change something i get so overwhelmed on all the things that i have to do not knowing where i need to start i start feeling anxious i start panicking and i freeze so by taking a step back and not even thinking about this thing that i have to do watching tv listening to a podcast watching a youtube video basically distracting myself i'm able to look at things differently through a different lens and have a different perspective because i'm not as anxious or stressed out i asked my daughter's nursery what do they do when children are misbehaving and they said they use distraction and play and at first i didn't understand because how is a child going to understand that they were misbehaving and not to do that in the future but sometimes you could be fighting a losing battle trying to teach a toddler a lesson when you can just distract them with play without any distress i find that stepping away reduces reduces the likelihood of me making decisions from a place of desperation from a place of lack but i'm actually able to come up with constructive really creative decisions or ideas of what i need to do for me to achieve this goal and this ties in with the next micro tip i'm not sure if you guys have heard of this sound bite i don't know who needs to hear this but girl it's your season get out your hair if not you then who sometimes you need an objective opinion you need a sound and board because it's easier said than done to not question yourself to not doubt yourself to not sabotage yourself and in as much as it's important to trust your instinct but when you're stuck you're not performing at your highest self so you need help you need other people who are able to look at things objectively i have a couple of people in my life i have my therapist i have my coach who i use as sounding boards when i'm having no self-sabotage thoughts when i'm thinking that i'm not good enough when i'm thinking that this idea is not going to perform well or this service that i want to bring up for my business is not going to perform well it's not that they're going to gas me up and tell me how amazing i am or how amazing the idea is if they don't agree but they're able to give me a different perspective or even constructive feedback that i'm not able to see because i'm stuck in my own head okay so moving on to the next micro 
third tip, one of the reason why people are stuck and they're not able to reinvent themselves is because they're comfortable. They're comfortable even when they're not happy, even when they're miserable. When people say it's better the devil, you know, they would rather stay in a situation or remain as their current version of themselves because it's what they know. It's what they're comfortable with and changing and doing something that's different is scary because it's like a gamble. You don't know what you're going to get. What if I fail? What if I don't achieve my goals? What if I don't become the person that I can't stop dreaming about? And what I do to deter myself from staying in a comfortable place is I do something that scares me every single month. Now, I'm not talking about rock climbing or skydiving. I'm just talking about a new experience that's outside of your comfort zone. For me, it's usually solo dates, but not doing the same kind of solo dates where I start to feel comfortable, like going out to eat. It might be going to the cinema by myself. It might be going to painting class by myself, a pottery class by myself, doing things that have always been on my wish list, but might be uncomfortable for me to do it on my own, but doing it anyway because i'm showing myself that i am capable of doing scary things that i can do anything that i set my mind towards so when it comes to actually achieving my goals and putting in the work i'm not going to be scared to move in fear to step out of my comfort zone because it's something that i do frequently anyway and always gives me good results i'm always proud of myself i'm always happy i'm always fulfilled when i do it the next micro tip is to become an apprentice a lot of people want to jump to the high paying expert position without the experience without the knowledge even though i'm in my 30s it doesn't mean that i know everything so every single time that i want to reinvent myself actually i do this all the time whether i want to reinvent myself or not i find people who know more more than me who are experts in a particular thing that I want to learn or I want to grow in and I learn from them. There's been times where I've gotten support from people who are younger than me or even less experienced than me but they are excelling in a specific area that I want to grow in that I need the knowledge or experience in. Now I'm not going to be arrogant that just because I'm older than them or just because I'm more experienced than them in this area that I'm not going to get help from them because I'm by Biting my nose only to spite myself. Is that how it goes? Anyway, when you think that you know everything, you've already failed. There is power in humility. There is power in being a beginner and wanting to learn and wanting to be a sponge by surrounding yourself with people who are experts and thought leaders. When you are the smartest person in the room, you're already failing. You are doing something wrong. Surround yourself with people, yes, who might be like-minded, but people who actually know more than you because that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to get unstuck and that's how you're going to reinvent yourself. The next micro tip is to decide to have a queen mindset. I've done a whole video of how I changed my life with a queen mindset. I will link it somewhere there. It is so easy to wallow in self-pity of why am I not married? Why am I broke? Why am I struggling? Why am I not living the life that I want to live? And listen, I get it because I was there a few years ago when I was questioning God why he had allowed for me to become a single mother why he had allowed for me to struggle on my own why i was broke why i was in debt until i reprogrammed my life using a queen mindset but that comes with a decision you have to decide that you want to have a queen mindset that you're done with having a scarcity mindset that you're done making desperate decisions from a place of lack having a queen mindset is allowing yourself to become the woman that you can't stop dreaming about by living out your purpose, reaching your goals, setting things up for the next generation and not settling for less than you know that you deserve, whether it's in a relationship, friendship, work, business, money, right? And taking the action and initiative to create the life that you want, to become the person that you want to be. And this is coming from one of the most logical people that you'll ever meet. I mentioned before 
that I love evidence-based reasoning, but there comes a time where you have to practice the art of allowing, where there is no evidence, but you're walking in faith, knowing and believing that you're going to get there. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. It doesn't mean that you're not going to fail, but it means that you are deserving of everything that everybody else has, right? You just have to believe it and you just have to put in the work for you to achieve it. And speaking of the unseen and walking in faith, this takes us to our next micro tip of feminine power. I've been in situations where my gut is telling me that something is wrong, whether I shouldn't be there, whether somebody is lying or whether somebody's energy is just off. Now, when you want to reinvent yourself, you need to tap into your intuition. You need to use your discernment to decide for the people that are in your life, whether it's new people that's coming in, whether it's people that's always been in your life, right? What energy are they exuding? How do they make you feel when you talk about your goals and your dreams are they supportive are they negative do they uplift you or you might be in a relationship and something is telling you that something isn't quite right you can't put your finger on it you don't have any evidence of anything happening you should ignore that feeling because that is your feminine power ringing up bells to say something is not right here we need to investigate we need to look further we need to ask more questions questions or maybe we should not be in the situation anymore i'm sure you can look back at situation and you feel like something told me something was happening or i had a feeling that something was up but you ignored it and you ended up in a situation longer than you need to so use your feminine power to do a friend audit to do a relationship audit ask those uncomfortable questions start looking at things more deeper and stop ignoring things that might be right in your face because you're comfortable because you're scared of change because you're scared of being alone the next micro tip is to dress like the person that you want to become i used to think that for me to be attractive i needed to dress in figure hugging clothes now don't get me wrong i still dress in clothes that are flattering but i also like a structured fit i like clothes that are flowy it makes me feel confident it makes me feel elevated right and i took a train the other day because i was going into london and as i was coming backwards i was approached by this guy now he's not the usual type of man that usually approaches me so i genuinely thought that he was going to ask me for directions but he said that he saw me walking by he thought that i was really beautiful and he wanted to take me out on a date imagine my shock horror that i was wearing a structured blazer and i was wearing flowy trousers and he still found me attractive and actually i was on a radio appearance a couple of weeks ago and the host kept on saying how chic i looked how fabulous i looked and how i looked like i should be on a tv appearance and that just validated that i had embodied the personal style of my dream woman who always looks put together who takes pride in her appearance it doesn't matter where she's going she always dresses her best it doesn't mean that i'm breaking the bag and buying all these expensive clothes but i'm still curating my caps or wardrobe by investing in statement pieces high quality and timeless pieces that i will be able to use over and over and over again one of the best things about getting older for me has been not caring what people think about me because when i was younger in my 20s i used to be so caught up on people liking me being funnier being a people pleaser always being there for people and putting myself last but i realized that we live in a judgmental society people are going to judge you regardless of what you do or don't do so if you're stopping yourself from starting that side hustle starting that business leaving that job leaving that toxic relationship because you're worried what people are going to say about you people already have an opinion about you people already judge you regardless of what choices you're making and you're stopping yourself from making yourself happier from reinventing yourself based on somebody else's opinion and also people are selfish beings they are focused on their lives on their goals and what they should be doing cost of living crisis right to be focused on your life but if they happen to be nosy and judgmental who cares their opinion of you is none 
of your business start that business start that youtube channel leave that man leave that toxic relationship whatever it is that you haven't done based on what you feel people are going to think about you it's time for you to stop caring the next micro tip to reinvent yourself is to give yourself grace especially as a woman of a particular age the older that you get you tend to put more pressure on yourself to look a certain way to have all these things to be married right and when you don't have those things or you haven't reached those milestones you start to feel less than like you're behind in life or you're a failure which is why i had to preface at the beginning of the video that if you decide that it's too late to reinvent yourself then you will stay stuck but if you decide that it is never too late whether you're in your 30s 40s 50s or 60s to become the woman that you can't stop thinking about right then you're able to put in the action because you know that life is not a fairy tale you're not going to have it all figured out in your 20s or 30s or whenever and also life is a staircase they're going to be ups and downs so one minute you might have it all figured out and then you might go through a bad season right that is life you can still pick yourself up you can still start over because it is never too late to reinvent yourself and to become the woman that you want to be. You might have the perfect plan of all the things that you want to do, but life and even God might have a different plan for you. And one of the things that I've realized that all of that I got is to accept the good and the bad because they're there for a reason, whether it's to teach you a lesson, whether you need to grow, or whether it's just about elevation, is to accept all parts of you and to give Give yourself grace because you know what you have to do to reinvent yourself but you don't have the motivation because of your current circumstances because of what you're going through sometimes you have to take it one step at a time one day to the next which is why i thought it was so important to show you micro tips to get unstuck because sometimes when you have that dark cloud over you it's so easy to keep on kicking yourself whilst you're down i've done a whole lot of videos on how to reinvent yourself and how to change your life but i find that these 10 micro tips are fundamental every single time you choose to reinvent yourself like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload a video and i will see you in my next upcoming video bye lovelies